This demo is going to show how to connect Cisco HyperFlex cluster to the external iSCSI storage. Let us look at an environment with existing Cisco Converged infrastructure. To connect HX to the iSCSI storage devices in that environment, first connect HXFIs to the existing LAN infrastructure, then create HX cluster and connect HX to the external iSCSI data store. There are four steps in this demo. Step 1. Create HX cluster with NICs for iSCSI storage. Step 2. Configure iSCSI switch and create iSCSI software adapters. Step 3. Create LUN and LUN mapping on storage array. Step 4. Create iSCSI data store in vCenter. Here comes the first step. Create HX cluster with NICs for iSCSI storage. Open a web browser on the local computer and navigate to the IP address of the installer VM. Enter the username, root and the password except the terms and then click login. Choose cluster creation then continue. Enter UCSM login information, vCenter login information, ESXi host login information, then continue. Select the unassociated HX server models, click continue. Enter VLAN names and IDs the MAC pool prefix and out-of-band management IP pool on UCS. Enable iSCSI storage. Enter VLAN information. Enter UCSM firmware version, cluster name and organization name. Click continue. Enter the IP configuration for the ESXi hosts as well as host names, then continue. Enter the IP addresses for the management and data networks as well as the cluster IP addresses. Then continue. Enter the HX cluster name, replication factor setting, RF equals 3 in demo. Enter controller VM information, vCenter information, and the system services of DNS, NTP, and time zone enable auto support and enter the auto support settings. Leave the defaults for advanced networking, make the necessary advanced configuration. Now click start. The HX installer will now proceed to complete the deployment and perform all the listed steps until cluster installation is completed. The second step, configure iSCSI switch and create iSCSI software adapters. In UCSM, verify iSCSI VNIX on all HX servers. View the properties of the iSCSI adapters. Make sure Jumbo MTU9000 is set. Log in to vCenter and select the first node of the HX cluster. Then on the right screen select Configuration, then Networking in the Hardware pane, then scroll to the iSCSI switch. Click on Properties. Click Add. Select VM Kernel and hit Next. Name iSCSI A and input iSCSI VLAN ID for the A fabric, then click Next. Add the IP address for Fabric A and click Next. Then click Finish. Next. Click Add again. Repeat the above steps to finish addition of iSCSI VM kernel port for B Fabric. In the vSwitch properties page, highlight vSwitch and click Edit. Change MTU to 9000. Select the NIC teaming tab and make both adapters active. Hit OK. In the vSwitch properties page, highlight the iSCSI A, click Edit. Change the port MTU to 9000. Select the NIC teaming tab. Choose the option of override switch failover order, highlight NIC 9 and move it to unused. Click OK. In the vSwitch properties page, highlight the iSCSI B, click Edit. Change the port MTU to 9000. Select the NIC teaming tab. Choose the option of override switch failover order, highlight NIC 8 and move it to unused. Click OK. Click Close. Review the iSCSI V switch on HX node 1. Next, repeat the steps to configure the iSCSI V switch for all other HX nodes. Now let us add iSCSI software adapters on each HX node. Select the first HX node, select the configuration tab, then storage adapters in the hardware pane, click add, then hit OK. Scroll down and right click the newly created software initiator, right click and select properties. Click Config. Change the iSCSI IQN name to a customized name. Click OK. Click the Network Configuration tab, 
and click Add to bind the Veeam kernel adapters to the software iSCSI adapter. Select iSCSI A adapter and click OK. Do this for iSCSI B adapter too. Click the Dynamic Discovery tab and click Add then enter the first IP address for your iSCSI storage controller. Click OK. Click Add again until all the IP addresses for your storage controllers are entered. Then click Close. Next, repeat the above steps to configure the software iSCSI adapters for all other HX nodes. The third step, create LUN and LUN mapping on storage array. Open NetApp on Command System Manager GUI from the web browser and log in. Select the pre-configured iSCSI storage virtual machine, choose Create New LUN. Welcome to Create LUN Wizard page is opened. Click Next. Enter LUN name, type and size. Click Next. Select an existing volume then click Next. On Initiator's mapping page, select Add Initiator Group. In Create Initiator Group Wizard, on General tab, enter name, operating system, and select type of iSCSI. On Initiator's tab, click Add then enter iSCSI IQ and name of the first HX host, click OK. Repeat this step until the IQ and names of all HX iSCSI adapters are added. Select Create. In the Initiator's mapping page, choose the HX Initiator group, click Next three times. Click Finish to complete the LUN creation. Now validate the LUN creation and the initiators mapped to the LUN. The fourth step create iSCSI data store in vCenter. Return to the vCenter. Right click the iSCSI software adapter and click Rescan or click Rescan all at the top of the pane. Do this for all HX hosts. Check the iSCSI disks. On the Configuration tab, select Storage, then Add Storage. Select Disk LUN and click Next. Highlight the NetApp iSCSI LUN and click Next. Click Next again. Enter the name of the data store and click Next. Click Next and click Finish. You can now review your data stores in the Configuration tab, and perform storage migration of any VMs if necessary. Now let us do recap of the demo steps. Step 1. Create HX cluster with NICs for iSCSI storage. Step 2. Configure iSCSI switch and create iSCSI software adapters. Step 3. Create LUN and LUN mapping on storage array. Step 4. Create iSCSI data store in vCenter.